And there is severe weather ongoing down across the deep south, but that is nothing compared to the threat that looms for Tuesday. It looks like a repeat of Friday. In fact, it almost covers the same areas. If you remember on Friday, we were talking about that high level five risk for severe weather across portions of Iowa uh, and then down around Memphis. And this is looking very, very close to the same locations. Just north of St. Louis, there's a big bubble of an enhanced risk. And this is three days out. That's impressive. And then from close to Memphis, parts of southern Missouri all the way down into northeast Texas, they'll have that severe weather threat ramping up again. So we will likely see this threat increase as we get closer to Tuesday. So that storm system is actually moving into the Pacific Northwest right now. So that'll be something we watch throughout the week. And then, of course, you just heard eastern Texas under that severe weather threat. There is one current tornado warning down in eastern Texas tonight. Meanwhile, the northeast is actually pretty quiet. So we're going to take a look at the future cast, the big picture first, and then we'll zoom in. But you can see that severe weather across Texas making its way across the deep south overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, this storm system comes out of the northwest bringing snow to the Rockies and then we'll see that storm system really start to blossom as it makes its way across the country's midsection. You can see the storms flaring up Tuesday into Wednesday and that'll be a system that we'll be watching for the end of the week about Thursday. It's expected to come through our area. Now you're 24 showing we've got clear skies out there for now. Wind becomes light temperatures take a big drop tonight. It looks like teens across the board for early tomorrow morning. Unless this happens, if we do start seeing some high clouds, it may not get quite as cold, but still low 20s is pretty cold for early April. So a chilly start, likely frosty in the morning. We'll get some good sunshine through the early part of the day, which helps warm temperatures quickly. By 10 a.m., we're already in the 40s, and then we'll keep climbing. Tomorrow, we're getting back into the middle and upper 50s, but wind will start ramping back up again, and we could get some 30 to 35 mile an hour wind gusts. So temperatures taking a big swing tonight into tomorrow, and that's thanks to high pressure pretty much moving overhead. But as it shifts off to the east, we will have a breeze kicking up out of the south tomorrow, and that's going to help to bring up the temperatures. Wind does get lighter for Tuesday and Wednesday, but we have another temperature roller coaster this week, all due to a frontal boundary that's just going to be like meandering across southern New England. So on Tuesday, it's kind of right overhead, so we've got kind of a rainy day for Tuesday. The front pushes southward on Wednesday. It's a little chilly. You can see some mixed across the uh, northern part of New England. For us, just a couple of showers. And then that front lifts back to the north on Wednesday night. And then Thursday, our cold front scoots through. Right now, only looks like a chance for some thunder. Does not look to be a severe weather threat day, but it's still very, very early. So something to watch for, of course. So a dry start to the week. We're unsettled Tuesday to Thursday. 60 on Tuesday, 50s on Wednesday. 70 on Thursday out ahead of that cold front. So we're bouncing around again. Now, once we get behind Thursday's system, high pressure just in time for the holiday weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, good sunshine. Sunday looks like we'll get into the low 60s for Easter. Matt, back to you.